Hello, how are you all lovely people? It's good to see you again tonight. Uh, I'm Sandy and I would like to welcome you all to Satsang Online. Isn't it great? Um, it's going to be an exciting night uh, tonight where we are going to praise and worship our Lord and Saviour. This lockdown, this social distancing aren't going to stop us from praising the Lord. Amen. Hey, why don't you... Um, Bring all your family members together uh, because we are going to praise and worship our Lord and Savior. Amen. Hi, before that, uh, why don't we bow down and uh, um, pray? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you once again, Father God. We thank you for this time, Father God. Thank you for this moment, Father God. And thank you for this life you have blessed us, Father God. Lord, I pray and ask for your favor on each and every one. Uh, one's life, Father God, bless them abundantly, Father God. Lord, those who are listening to this uh, right now, Father God, tuning in, Father God, bless them abundantly, Father God. Lord, help them, Father God, if they're struggling with something, Father God. Lord, I pray that your presence be felt tonight, Father God, in every house, Father God. Uh, Lord, I pray, Father God, that you also uh, be with our, our musicians, Father God. Bless them, Father God. Bless the worship team, Father God, as they lead us into worship, Father God. Um, and, and be with them, Father God. Lord, I pray for uh, for the person who's going to bring the word as well, Father God. Lord, bless him abundantly, Father God, as the words will come out of his mouth, Father God. It will stuck in our hearts, Father God. That will be a changing moment for each and every one, Father God. I thank you once again, Father God, um, uh, for this time, Father God. I commit everything. Uh, this service into your blessed hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Hi. Uh, get ready to praise and worship our Lord and Savior. Now I would like to uh, hand over to the Satya families who's going to lead us into worship. Praise the Lord. Masiki J. once again. Thank you, Brother Sandeep, for the welcome. Uh, I hope you all had a good Easter. And we know that our Jesus is risen. And Ajam, uh, worship me, Jayenge. We're going to sing some praise and worship songs. I want you to join us. It was very good singing last week, so let's keep it up. Um, we are doing a real satsang today with our traditional music, with harmonium and holak and hantal. And uh, I just hope you can join us with your clapping. So the first song we're going to sing is uh, in our song books is number three. Yeshu nam mila, Yeshu nam mila, mera jivan sawar gaya. First verse says, Tune lahu ke khatro ko mere liye baha diya. Tune jaan badan de kar, Yeshu mujh ko chuda liya. Yes, we are free. He rose from the dead. He's defeated the enemy. He's defeated death. Amen. So can you mere saath is git ko gai and uh, Yeshu Namila. Yeshu Namila.
नाम मिला मेरा जीवन सवर गया The next song we are going to sing is uh, we are going to carry on on this theme that Jesus is risen. Uh, number forty-eight from our song books. Tu zinda hai. Tere chune se Yeshu murde ji uthe. Tere chune se Yeshu langre bhi chale. Tere chune se Yeshu. Jesus is alive and is risen from the dead. Amen. Hello, Satsang family. Princey here. I hope you all are doing well and are healthy. Um, I have really loved seeing some of your faces um, through the online Satsang meetings. Um, thanks to Neele for sorting all that out. Uh, so I want to talk on here myself and say hello and just give a life update and testimony of uh, what has happened in the last month of my life. Um, so yeah, as most of you know, I moved to um, Bulgaria, which is in Europe, to begin my studies at university. Now I wish I could sit down and have a cup of chai and tell you all in detail what happened um, throughout my time there um, because it was it was crazy but it was amazing and it feels like worlds away now but um, thanks to all your prayers um, and the goodness and grace of God everything went so 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 smoothly um, we 
yeah, leaving New Zealand, going to Australia, doing an interview for the student visa, to going to Bulgaria and settling in. Um, it went so smoothly. Um, no hiccups, nothing. Um, we, I didn't have a place to stay, um, but I moved into this Christian girl's apartment. Um, she had a spare room and I moved in and it was amazing. Um, and I love it. I love the place I'm staying at. It's so close to university. Five minute walk. Um, yeah, everything went so well. I met some awesome people. I have a uh, church um, called New Life Church and the pastors are from, they're missionaries from America who were called to Bulgaria to um, start a church. And so they um, yeah, they run a church, which um, I went to while I was there, and it was so good, and they have um, three little children, which is amazing. Um, another answer to prayer. Um, so yeah, everything went so well. Um, I am really happy there, um, just getting used to the culture and the language. That'll take some time, but all is good with me in regards to that. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to say that God is so good and that he has everything in your life planned out to the very detail and he cares about every prayer that you have said, even those silent prayers which you just like think in your head, he answers them, he knows, he listens um, and yeah, so just looking back now, like it's crazy what happened those three weeks, um, but yeah. That's me. Um, I would be happy to share all the rest of the stories with you guys, so hopefully I can do that after this lockdown finishes. But um, I just wanted to end on a verse um, from Jeremiah 31 3, which reads, uh, I've loved you with an everlasting love, therefore I have remained faithful to you. And that is what God wants throughout the entire time. He was faithful, he was trustworthy and he came through so much and in every situation that we were faced with um so yeah so good i'm very happy and just in awe of the goodness of god um and just how much he really does care about me and really does have a plan for me so that's me i hope to see you all after the lockdown finishes so take care stay safe um bye Praise God. Um, now we're going into worship and uh, let's prepare ourselves, let's prepare our hearts uh, to come into the presence of God. I know God is there all the time, He's, He's always with us, but let's make this a special time as we come to His throne and worship Him. We're going to sing this song, uh, number 24 in our books, Teri Stuti Me Karu Aradhana Karu Dilse. Dilse. Manse Nei Dilse. Amen. And then after this, uh, Brother Shok is going to come and pray for all our needs and uh, so let's get into a prayer mode and let's get into a worship mode and uh, let's uh, close our eyes and sing this song from the bottom of our hearts
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. First of all, before we go into our prayers this evening, I would like to thank the choir team for taking us into a very powerful praising and worshiping. I want to thank the choir team. And it is our prayer that the God, mighty hand is upon our choir team. So, Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before you, mighty throne of God this evening, as you know the situation of this world, as you know the situation everywhere, Lord, we just come, but Lord, we no one can stop us, O oh Father, to come in your presence. Father, so this evening, Lord, as we humble ourselves, we come to your mighty presence, Lord, to receive your blessing, your anointing, and your, your healing, Father, upon each and every one of us, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and praise you, Lord, for keeping us safe in your mighty hands, O Father, under your mighty wings, O Father. We just want to thank you, Lord, that the breath of life which you are having tonight, Lord, it is your blessing, and it is by your grace, Father, we are standing here worshiping you, praising up your holy name, Father, and not, Lord, and, uh, not forgetting, Lord, that the most important thing which we are going to hear today, tonight is, Lord, your powerful words, O Father. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and praise you, Lord. We lift up everything into your mighty throne, Father. Father, we just pray, Lord, tonight, you know, Lord, what the situation is right now in this world, in this nation, O Father, in our neighbor countries, O Father. Everything has been scattered, O Father. Everyone has a fear in their hearts, O Father. But, Father, we believe that the, whatever we are facing right now, Father, it is not going to last. It is, it is there only for temporary, O oh Father. And Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your hands upon us, Father. Heavenly Father, tonight as we pray, Lord, for our families, our friends, O oh Father, for our nation, O oh God, for our essential workers, O oh Father. We pray for our health workers, those who are standing in the front line, O oh Father. We pray for the, not only for them, Father, but we also pray for their lovely families out there whom they have left home. And Lord, they come and to stand in front line and to help the nation, help the people, O oh Father. We pray for their life, Father. We pray, Lord Jesus, that your mighty hand be upon each and every one of them, Father. And Father God, cover them, Lord, with the precious blood and blood of lamp, O oh Father. And keep them in a good health, O oh Father. Lord, we just ask for your protection upon their life, Father. We just ask for your blessing, O oh Father. Cover them, Lord. Yes, my Lord, hallelujah. As they are standing there for the nation, as they are standing there for your people, O oh God. Lord, I pray that you will stand there for them, O oh God. Hallelujah. Church, I, I want everybody to pray. I want everybody to lift up your hands and lift up your hands and pray with me tonight so that the Bible tells where two or three gets together and when they pray together, the prayers are answered. Father, we believe that our prayers will be answered tonight, Father. Isaiah 54, 70 says that no weapon that is built that is formed against us shall prosper, Lord. Father, we believe that this coronavirus is a weapon and it is formed in a disease and it came, it formed in a virus and came to attack your people, Father. But we believe what the Bible tells us, Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that is being formed against us shall prosper. We believe that, Father, this virus cannot touch us. This virus cannot bring any harm to us, Father, because your Bible, your word of God says, Father. Tonight, Father, we also pray for those those who are struggling, oh Father, those who are struggling with the finance, Father, those who are struggling with food, oh Father, those who are struggling with the jobs, oh Father. Father, you are the provider. You are a provider, Father. You provide everything, Father. Father, we pray tonight for the provision, make a provision for those who are struggling right now, Father. Some people, they have left, uh, lost their jobs, oh Father. And tonight, Father, we pray for those who are struggling, Father. Father, as you are our supporter, Father, as you are our provider, Father, Father, it is our prayer tonight, oh God, that you will be their provider as well, oh Father. Provide them with food, Father. Provide with them with the finance, oh Father. Provide them with the jobs, oh Father. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, for those who are leading our nation, those who are leading the churches of God, those who are leading in the community of Father, those who are leaders in the in the life group, Father. Father God, we pray, Lord, as we as we pray for them, Father, to be blessed, 
to be anointed by your father and so that uh, so that they can have wisdom knowledge of father so that they can know how to lead their people of father and most importantly father we pray for our prime minister father god we pray lord jesus that your mighty blessing be upon her father as she also left her family home lord and she's been tirelessly walking lord with her ministers of father to do good things for the for the people of this nation of father lord we ask for your, for your blessed hand to be upon her father god we want to thank you, Lord, for all our Satsang family members, wherever they are right now, Father. Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that your blessing be upon them. There are so many unspoken needs in people's heart, oh, Father. There are so many un unspoken needs, oh, Father, which has to be prayed for, Father. But people are still keeping it in their hearts, oh, Father. Heavenly Father God, I pray, Lord, that you will answer every unspoken need, oh, Father. Because, Father, before we speak, Father, before we see anything, Father, you know what is inside our heart, oh, Father. Even if we whisper, oh, Father, even we just uh, think, uh, think things in our minds of oh father you already hear that oh father so father tonight lord i pray for all the family members at their various home father they are they are, they are taking part in this prayer meeting father lord i pray they got some needs there they got their needs of oh father so father god i pray lord jesus that you you will be done upon their needs of oh father there's there's there are people who are waiting for the residency visa oh father there are people who are waiting for the Exam, Father. Exam marks, O oh Father. So, Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that your blessing be upon them, Father. Pita Parmeshwar. Aaj hum prathna karte hai, Pita Parmeshwar, jo bhai vachan laaye ka Parmeshwar. Us vachan par aapke, aapke aashis rahe, Pita. Us vachan do dhai tarwa se bhi tez rahe, Parmeshwar. Hallelujah. Aur Pita Parmeshwar, jaise us vachan ko hum sunne Parmeshwar. Us vachan par na kewal sunne wala bane Prabhu, balki us vachan ko hum sunkar, us par kaam karne wala ban sake, Pita Parmeshwar. Hallelujah. Pita Parmeshwar, taaki hum logo tak pahunch sake, Pita. Aapke vachan ko pahuncha sake, Pita. ताकि हम लोगों के जीवन में पिता परमेश्वर आज के इस रात्रि को पिता आज के इस समय को परमेश्वर इस प्रार्थना सभा को इस सत्संग को पिता और सत्संग के हर एक लोगों के जीवन को पिता हम आपके पवित्र और महान हाथों में देते हैं परमेश्वर और यही आशा ये भरोसा है परमेश्वर कि पिता आप जल्द से जल्द इस कोरोना वायरस से हम सभी को छुटकारा देगा प्रभु धन्यवाद है परमेश्वर पिता सभी कुछ आपके पवित्र हाथों में देते हुए आज की इस छोटी सी दुआ इस प्रार्थना को हम किसी और नाम से नहीं मुक्ति दाता प्रभु यश मसीह के नाम से चाहते हैं और सब ने मिलकर कहा थैंक यू लोड धन्यवाद परमेश्वर धन्यवाद प्रभु यश मसीह थैंक यू सत्संग फैमिली बी ब्लेस एंड कीप ऑन प्रे फॉर इच आदर एज वी आर गोइंग इन अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टाइम बट दिस डिफिकल्ट टाइम इज नॉट गोइंग टू लास्ट थैंक यू सो मच and uh, now i hand over to brother sandeep he will bring some announcement uh, announcement god bless you thank you brother shock hi i've got a uh, few announcements to make uh, firstly i would just ask you all to continue to pray over the situation we are going through uh, you know uh, our families are, are going some of the families are going through hard time so i'll ask uh, all our members to join in and pray over the situation pray over the satsang family um and, and let's see uh, what god uh, is going to do uh, for our community amen uh, also if you have got any prayer request prayer needs please put it on facebook messenger uh, so that we all can join with you and pray over the situation you are going through amen amen uh, lastly i've got uh, uh, is uh, who can tell me where we are meeting next week you guys are too good man you guys are too good yes we are meeting at same place same time right in your lunch amen amen hey it's time for the main food and the person it's my privilege to welcome the person who's going to bring the word of god tonight um he is the master of satsang the man from bar none other than uncle anu why don't we join our hands and welcome uncle anu thank you sandeep uh nisambula vinaka kiora tena koto katoa a very warm greetings to each one of us those who are listening to our program satsang satsang tonight i hope we all are keeping safe keeping warm uh tonight my topic is 
anxiety in lockdown. Anxiety means to worry. Anxiety means to fear. When we look at the current circumstances around us, because of COVID-19, we all are in a lockdown situation. We are locked down in our own homes and we worry about a lot of things. A lot of uncertainty runs in our mind. There's a lot of questions that, uh, that run in our minds as well. When will this finish? What will happen next? And all that. In these lockdown situations, we worry. We worry about our work. We worry about our money. We worry about our relationships. And we worry about our health. The list goes on and on. But when we turn to the news, we are bombarded by all the violence, all the destructions, the death and the head heartache in the world. But when we turn to the social media like YouTube, Facebook and others, we are inundated by images words showing impossible standards of wealth, impossible standards of happiness and beauty. That some of us think that we need to live like that. And all these circumstances that are in the media, that is in the social media, it all adds up to our levels of anxiety today. In these circumstances, people turn to God, where there is the answer. Priya Bhaiyo, the Beno, I am very happy to be here in the Satsang Sabha online. Today, I have a topic that is anxiety in lockdown. In our world, there are many things that we have to do in our world. लोग दुखी हैं कई से सवाल लोग पूछते हैं कि ये कब खत्म होगा और ये कब समस्या हमारे जीवन से जाएगा सो इन दिस सर्कमस्टांसेस पीपल टेन टू गॉड सो आई विल टेक यू टू व्हाट द बाइबल सेज सो वी विल रीड व्हाट अपोसल पॉल राइट्स टू द चर्च ऑफ फिलिपाई ड्यूरिंग दिस सर्कमस्टांसेस सो लेट्स रीड फिलिपियंस चैप्टर 4 वर्सेस 6 एंड 7 Apostle Paul writes, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, and by prayer and petition, and with thanksgiving, present our requests to God. Here, Apostle Paul writes a letter to the church in Philippi. Apostle Paul was telling Christians that no matter what the circumstances are, they don't have to worry. They don't have to be anxious because they are already secured in Lord Jesus Christ. And looking at the circumstances, Paul knew what he was talking about. After all, Paul was in a lockdown, not in his own home, but he was in a lockdown in the prison cell and he would possibly face death sentence and he knew it yet he writes that he will continue to rejoice if you read philippians chapter 1 verse 18 to 20 he he writes i eagerly expect and hope that i will in no way be ashamed but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, 
Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. Dear brothers and sisters, Paul here was in a very dangerous situation. And he had every reason to be anxious about what would happen to him because he was at the mercy of his captors and he had no control of this situation. We have Hayot Tabeno Apostle Jo Paul Tha. O Yahapar Likta hai ki hame chinta ki zarurat nahi. क्योंकि जब वो चिट्ठी लिखता था उस समय वो एक लॉकडाउन में था अपने घरों में नहीं मगर वो लॉकडाउन एक प्रिजन सेल में था जबकि वो जानता था कि मृत्यु शायद निश्चित होगा उनके लिए मगर फिर भी वो चर्च ऑफ फिलिपाई के लिए लिखता है कि चिंता करने की जरूरत नहीं है सो हियर दिस ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स Despite being in a lockdown in a prison, he felt very secure because he knew that God was in control. And through that, the strength that Jesus gave him, he had the courage to face no matter what was to come. His trust in God was so complete that he very confidently wrote these famous words for me to live is Christ and to die is gain he had no fear of his life because he knew that if he if he lives it's for Christ and if he dies it will still be a gain his trust and hope are not based in the wish that god will spare him no he was anticipating the worst possibility that he may be executed but he knew very well that he was in god's hands dear brothers and sisters just think how would you respond if you were in a lockdown in a prison knowing very well that you'll be facing death sentence I'm pretty sure it's a clear contrast to how most of us will think. But here, in our current situation, we are in a lockdown in our own homes. Yet we feel anxious. We worry about so many things. What would happen next? When will this finish? When can I go to my friend's place? When can I go and eat here? go to that restaurant and all those things that we want to control but here paul was in a lockdown in a prison yet he writes yet he writes peace he is at peace verse 7 he says and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus the peace that paul was talking about can only come through by releasing our needs by releasing our fears by releasing our anxiety in the hands of god through our prayers and petition with thanksgiving we need to present our request to god and our go- and all this confidence will come in you when you offload all your worries all your fear and all your anxiety in the hands of god i list three keys that would help that would help us to overcome the anxiety and fear in this lockdown the first one to cast out to cast means to throw away it means to dispose of so what we need to do as i've said earlier we need to throw away our worries our anxiety and fear it means to give our burden to the lord because he has carried jesus has carried a very heavy cross and our worries are not so heavy for him first peter chapter 5 verse 7 reads cast 
all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So let us not carry all the burdens, all the anxiety. Jesus calls you to cast your burden, cast your anxiety on him and he will care for you. The second one is rest. Once you have casted out all your burdens and anxiety to God, you will have rest. Rest from our worries. Rest from your anxiety and frustrations. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus tells, Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeshu Masih pukarta hai, ki boj se dabe huye log, mere paas ao, mai tumhe vishram dunga. Ye bhaiyo, tato behno, jo anxiety, jo samasya, jo boja hai, wo hum apne khud dho nahi sakte, kyunki humare paas utna bal nahi hai, aise samay mein. Yeshu pukarta hai ki yo boj mujhe de do, mai tumhe vishram dunga. So we'll need to rest and we have to give all our burdens and worries to Christ. The third one, trust. Trust in the Lord. To trust means to be confident. We need to trust our Lord because Jesus cares. He knows our needs because he has the power to sustain us. Because he is the risen Lord. His resurrection power will save us and give us the peace that we need. So brothers and sisters, in conclusion, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in his resurrection. There is power in his compassion. And there is power in his love. As John 3.16, Jesus says, you will not perish but have everlasting life. Tum naash nahi honge, anand jivan paoge. Dear friends, you will not perish when you believe in Jesus. So there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Therefore, there is no need to be anxious about anything during this lockdown. No matter what the circumstances are, no matter where you are, Cast all your burden to Jesus. You rest and you need to trust Jesus. And he will set us free from all those worries and all those anxieties in this current lockdown. My God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Anup, for the great words. Um, hi, it's always good uh, to be encouraged. And during this time uh, where we can't uh, get together under one roof and, and praise and worship, uh, um, our God, but we can do it through uh, uh, on, uh, online services thanks to technology, which is uh, getting advanced day by day. Hey, um, uh, before we finish, um, uh, before I hand it over to the Satya families to take us through the final song, I just want to um, tell you something. Uh, don't forget uh, to make your own cha and bhajia uh, and, and fellowship with your family. Um, uh, also on that note, it is getting cold, um, so please keep warm, wear a lot of clothes, um, uh, keep the social distancing going, uh, and uh, keep safe, you know, stay safe uh, in your bubble. God bless you all. Thank you Satsang, thank you for joining us tonight, it was lovely to have you all, uh, I hope you're enjoying your lockdown. Thank you brother. Uh, Anup for the wonderful message. Keep that in mind. We are going to finish with a bang. We're going to sing the song Yeshu Tera Naam Sabse Uchai. Amen. Let's do it.
Thank you.